Making the jump from a passionate amateur photographer to a successful professional photographer can be intimidating and a little bit scary. And unfortunately, just because you take great photos doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to find success as a professional. So in today's video, we're covering five essentials that you're going to need if you're looking to make the jump into professional photography. Okay, essential number one is that we need to get legal. Once you start charging money for your work, the expectations and the potential ramifications reach a whole new level. So if you want your business to be taken seriously, you need to treat it that way yourself. This is all the boring stuff that no one likes. Registering your business with your state, figuring out your taxes, getting liability and gear insurance, having legit contracts, etc. Honestly, all of these things are things that I hate and I am not necessarily an expert on, but I will tell you this, if you can hire a professional, please do it because when you are first starting out, it seems like a waste of money and it seems like it's not necessary to hire someone to figure these things out for you. But I am telling you, if you can get these major things established right from the start, it will save you so much headache in the long run and you'll sleep better at night. If you can't hire a professional, just do your research. There's lots of information out there, but you have to spend time looking for it. So one resource that I can point you to that would be amazing when it comes to contracts is our amazing lawyer, Caroline Fox, and she specializes in contracts for photographers and other small businesses. The cool thing is, is that the contracts that we use with her that have been super successful in our business are now available in our shop for other photographers, both wedding photographers and portrait photographers. And so if you are worried, not just about being protected legally, but also about the way you sound, I don't like the lawyer sounding contracts that sound so scary and like stiff and firm. I want it to be firm and I want to be protected. But I thought years ago, I'm like, can I find a lawyer that will write a contract that sounds like me, that is more approachable and not so intense. Like, can I find someone that will do that? And I did. And now we've partnered with her to make them available for anyone. The benefit of using what I have been using for years is that you know that this was created for someone in your exact position. And it was created by someone who is legit. This isn't just a contract that you downloaded from some random website. You just hope it works. You know that someone has gone through this with a fine tooth comb and it will be updated periodically as as big things happen and change in our industry. So you can check those out. There's a link below in the description. And I hope it's a huge, huge win for you to be able to just purchase them and know, okay, I am protected. I can move on to the fun stuff. Great. Okay. So now we are protected legally and we need to make sure that we don't get sued because we lost a whole wedding's worth of images. Essential number two is fast and redundant storage. So we're talking about hard drives, which is my favorite topic. And not at all, but really it's important. I hate talking about tech things. I hate talking about storage, but a lot of amateur photographers will go to Best Buy and buy the biggest, cheapest spinning disk drive that they can find. Or worse, they don't buy an external hard drive and they just save everything on their internal hard drive on their laptop. And then they wonder why Lightroom is so slow. Cheap and slow hard drives will slow you down in pretty much every area of your editing workflow. So that will cause you to waste tons of time. And those cheap spinning drives are much more susceptible to failing and corrupting. So just to keep things simple, I suggest buying a solid state drive SSDs at a minimum size of one terabyte, and you need to have at least two of them. This way you can back up all of your data. It's going to prevent you from having to make that dreaded phone call. Thank the Lord. It's never happened to me to call a bride and tell her that you lost all of her images because your only copy was corrupted. Yes, this is an investment, but as a professional, it's your responsibility to keep your client's memories safe and secure. I've linked the drives that I use in the description below. If you want to pick up one or two, and if you're looking for a more comprehensive, AKA nerdy video, uh, there's a hard drive file management video that Ty made a while back talking about his recommended system. And you can watch that here. Okay. The next essential is what most people think of as the first thing they need when starting their business. And that is a website. Now, all of you Gen Zers may try and tell me that websites are irrelevant and that all you need is a TikTok account, but as a skinny jean wearing mom of four, I disagree with you. Yes. Social media is extremely important and will play a huge role in your marketing, but you need something that you own something that's not going to be taken away from you. You have to have somewhere to send people after they discover and fall in love with you on TikTok 
and Instagram, um, where you can control the narrative and you can sell yourself. I've made a video about website mistakes to avoid uh, that you can watch here. And I also have a playlist full of website critique videos where I look at students' websites and give feedback on how they could be improved. So you definitely wanna watch those. But the best resource that I can give you and tell you about is Tonic Site Shop. My friends at Tonic Site Shop, one of them is Jen Olmstead. She's a co-owner and she designed my website and has for over a decade. They sell amazing show it templates. They're beautiful. They're easy to install. They look professional. They look high end. They also have so many options that are perfect for any brand or any style. I highly recommend a templated site as opposed to DIYing if possible. It looks better. It comes together so much faster and it is designed with conversion in mind and not just thrown together. Like here's a gallery, here's a contact form. They are literally designed to take people on a journey through your website. So be sure when you're looking into Tonic, if you're ready to dive in, use my code. It's on the screen. There's also a link below as well. All right, last one. But wait, Caitlin, I thought you said there were supposed to be five. Well, lucky for you, the last one is actually four essentials in one. So you're really getting like seven. <laughs> the last essential is CloudSpot. So if you want to be a professional photographer, you need a legitimate way to accept payments. Cash App and Venmo do not count as legitimate ways to accept payments. You also need to be able to professionally deliver your photos to your clients. Dropbox and Google Drive do not count. So you need a secure way for your clients to sign contracts. Pen and paper is like 2008. You know, you can't do that. It's very impractical and it's inconvenient. And you need a great way for your clients to order prints from a professional lab. Well, the crazy thing is you get all of that and more with a CloudSpot membership. And what's even crazier is that memberships cost as little as $12 a month. Basically what you're doing is you're getting all the essentials you need to run a business online and be professional in one place. It's awesome. It's awesome for photographers, whether you're portraits or your wedding photographer. We started using CloudSpot a few years ago. We absolutely love them. We love the team. We love the interface. We love the functionality of it all. But at the time, CloudSpot only offered gallery service. So it's it was just the way that we delivered our photos to our clients. But recently, CloudSpot has released the studio and basically what the studio is within CloudSpot is the back end of a photography business. So that is now how I send my contracts. That is now how I get paid as a photographer. That's how I send invoices. That's how I, how I do questionnaires four weeks before the wedding. All of that is happening within CloudSpot now. And what's really cool is that my client that's coming up in a few weeks, the same place that she dove into getting her invoices paid, she found her questionnaire um, where she can view her contract is the same place where she can also log in and see all of her images, not just her wedding photos, but also her engagement photos. It's just this one stop shop and the clean, modern, sleek, easy to use and navigate design that I love about my galleries is now a part of the entire client experience. It's one of the reasons why I love CloudSpot, but also because they're constantly innovating. I mean, I have a message on my phone now from um, Gavin, uh, who owns CloudSpot, who created this amazing monster of a company. He's always telling me about the new features. They're building out so many things. I honestly have a hard time keeping track of all the stuff that is rolled out constantly through this company. But this is what I do know. They are on mission to empower all photographers, but specifically beginner photographers to be professional from day one, all in one spot. Everyone looks legit and everyone has a fair chance at being able to make it as a photographer with a resource like this. So here's the crazy part. You would think that adding on like a client management system to your gallery company, that your monthly fee would increase substantially because look at all that you're getting and look at all that it's going to do and automate for you nothing changed. Like anyone using CloudSpot has this feature available to them for free. It's built into the membership that people were spending just to have them as a gallery company, which is incredible. So all these photographers that are just getting started and just diving in and they took a chance of like, okay, I'm going to pay to have a gallery company. I'm not going to send my images through Dropbox. They got the surprise of a career and they're like, Hey, now you can do everything professionally and you don't even, you don't even have to pay more. So the cool thing is, is that for beginners, the pricing structure is tiered. And so you're not going to pay for this big, 
you know, amount of storage when you don't need it because you're not shooting that much. There's literally a free option for you when you're just getting started, like up to 2000 photos. So you can get started. Also, I have a code, you get 50% off your first year. So there's that. I mean, you really need to do the math because if you're paying for something like HoneyBook and you're paying for a gallery service that's not tiered, then all of a sudden you're looking at something that's not really fair for a beginner where you use CloudSpot and you can have it all in one. You could start for free, get 50% off when you do start paying and you're getting a studio system for free. It's all built in. I mean, that's pretty awesome. So I, for me, um, when I look at this and I look at my life and I look at my business, even 14, almost 15 years in, I want simplicity. I want my clients to have simplicity. And I also want it to look legit. I want it to look pretty. I want it to be fun to use. I want to be able to have functionality that keeps me relevant and on the top of my game. All of that I get and more within CloudSpot. So find the link below. Don't miss on this. If you are a new photographer, I'm serious. Do not sleep on this. This is something that can catapult you and it's incredibly affordable. So link is below, check it out. We ended with this one for a reason because it's literally the most bang for your buck and it makes one of the biggest changes when you're just starting out. All right, so there is the list. I hope that this was incredibly helpful. If you are at the beginning of your journey, I understand that it can be overwhelming. And there's probably a lot of moments where you feel like there's so many people doing this, there's no way I can make it, but there is. There is a way that you can make it. You have to decide for yourself that why not you, right? There, there are photographers, new photographers entering the scene all the time and a certain percentage of them make it and a large percentage of them don't, but the ones that make it decide that they're going to. And you have to make that decision. Maybe that, maybe that's the sixth, seventh, eighth, whatever thing we're on, on our list. But basically that's my last and final tip is that you have to decide that you want to fight for this because if you want to win at this, you can, and the, and the resources and the opportunity is out there for you. So decide today that that's the category that you're in, that you are the photographer that's going to fight for this and make your passion turn into a profession. So check out the description below for all the resources mentioned in this video and make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss an upload. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.